Hello everyone. In a previous video that you can find in the description, I explained how we can install Visual Studio 2022. In this new video, I will show you how to create your first C++ project using this IDE. So let's click on create a new project. In this window, we can filter the available projects using these fields. So for the language, I will select C++. For the type, I will select console. And here for the platform, I can select Windows. And now I will select this console application using C++. Now let's click on Next. So for the name, I will call it First Console Application. It will be saved at this location. And now let's click on Create. Now the project has been created and by default it contains one C++ file called first console application which is the name of the project. We can find it under source files. So this is it and this is the source code. So let's remove the commands. And to run this application I can use this button. So here in this window, we obtain this welcome message. If I click on any key, this window will be closed. Now let's modify this source code. So I will ask the user to provide his name. But here we can see that I have an error. This is because I need to use the namespace std. So let's fix this. Now let's read the name of the user. But here we can see that I have an error with this method. So this is because I need to add a new include. So let's fix this. Now let's print the name of the user as a confirmation. Now let's run this application. So here it is asked to provide a name. Let's say for example Bill Gates. And let's hit enter. And here we can see the confirmation of the name. Now let's hit any key to close this window. Now to create a new C++ file, I have just to make a right click on the project name. Then I have to go to add. And here I can click on new item. And then we obtain this window. It is also possible to open this window using another method. So let's close it. And let's go to project. Then add a new item and we obtain the same window so let's select c++ file and for the name i will just call it about now let's click on add and this file has been added so let's add some c++ code so this is a simple c++ code that contains this method and this method will print this text to the user so let's copy the declaration of this method And let's go to the main file. So here I will just paste the declaration of the method here. And I will also add a semicolon. Now to use this method inside this file, I need to copy the name of the method. And I will just paste it here. Now let's run this application. And in this window we can see the second line which is printed from the second C++ file. Now let's provide any name and let's hit enter. Let's press any key. Now I will show you how to create a new class. So we have to make a right click on the project name, then add, then class. So here I will provide the name of the class. Let's call it student. As you can see, two files will be created, a header file and also a C++ file. So let's click on OK. So this is the header file. I will complete it. So I will add some variables inside this class. But here I have an error. This is because string is not recognized. So let's click on show potential fixes. And let's click on add include string. So this include has been added, but I still have the error. This is because I need to use the namespace std. So let's fix this. And now the errors disappeared. So let's add a new method. 
Now let's implement this method inside the C++ file. So let's open the C++ file, which is student.cpp, and let's complete this file. Now let's print the value of the different variables. But here I have some errors, so to fix them, let's click on Show Potential Fixes. Then let's add this include. And now the errors disappeared, so let's go to the main C++ file, and let's include the student file. Now let's create the student object, so I will just create it here. And let's initialize its variables. Finally, let's print the printInfo method of this object. Now let's run this application. And here, as you can see, I have the different information of this student. Now let's provide a name. And let's hit enter. Now let's press any key. It is also possible to modify the name of a source file. So for example, let's modify the name of this file. To do this, I have to make a right click, then rename. So I will call it info.cpp. And let's hit enter. As you can see, the name of this file has been modified. In the next video, I will show you how to create your first Windows form using C++ and .NET. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.